What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another week, another full, fun, exciting episode of Ripping Packs. Yeah, it says it right there. Yeah, Ripping Packs, yeah. My wife made me the shirt. Yeah, she's a customer and she could do things like that, but it's really cool. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, ripping open some basketball. I know you're going, Rip, Portland, Rip City, what the hell's that? Well, it's a phrase that the Portland Trail Blazers broadcasting team used. Back in the uh, 70s, 80s, and beyond. Rip City, that's the name of the town. It's a its a nickname. And we're ripping open something that I actually got like a week and a half ago. I just, you know, obviously I'm busy. I got a lot of things going on right now. A lot of uh, the show stuff going on. Not this, but another show. And we're going to rip open some Donruss. Some Donruss basketball. We got a blaster box here. 88 cards inside here. We're gonna rip this open and we're gonna see just what the hell is inside of the Donruss 2122 Blaster. I'll see you in a second. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Ripping packs on Monday and we are hooping it up with some basket. Oh, that's right, some 21-22 Donruss basketball. We got 11 packs of 80 of eight cards each, not 88 cards, we have 88 cards total. We're looking for autographs and this in the signature series. Will we get one? Highly doubtful, but you never know. Anyway, so we're gonna do a quick little order of business. No uh, Monday mail today. Um, you notice, okay, this is one thing my wife made me this, because, you know, hey, why not? I'm wearing a hat here, and this is a hat, actually, it's from a fellow collector I ran into at the store, and we became, you became friends, he's a great dude. Uh, he actually, he's a DJ, but he actually has a, co-owns a, a hat company, Hood. Hood Hat Incorporated. This is Portland, Rip City, and that is Hood. This is more, this, he took, he's just a good friend, took care of me, James, thank you, bud. And he made me a Ripping Packs hat and a couple other ones. So I just wanted to give him and his company a shout out. They customize, they make hats for all of them. Jay-Z has worn their hats. Uh, I have a few other hats I'll be wearing here throughout the rips, but this was one of my ripping packs hats. Again, hood hat. I will put the link right here and also down below, hood hat. That is what I'm wearing. And I'll be wearing this. Maybe not next, but definitely soon. Just cause, you know, I gotta mix it up. Um, Anyway, so there's that side of business. Again, thank you, James. Hood hat, hood, they make hats. They got every state covered. They have slogans, they have nicknames, all the different stuff, and they can do customization as well. So again, not an advertisement, what well, kind of it is, but yeah, either way, awesome hat. I love it. When he, when he gave me this hat, I was like, oh my God, dude, that is seriously. I grew up with this term, Rip City, let me tell you. Portland Trailblazers, Bill Shonley, that was his catchphrase, and oh my god, it stuck, it was awesome. Anyway, thank you again. So uh, what, another order of business is, some of you know, uh, actually a handful of you know I'm in the film industry, and I'm working on a project. Um, again, I'm not gonna talk too much about it, um, unless you reach out to me personally. Um, but a friend of mine actually has a documentary that is coming out tomorrow, Zach Hempel vs. The World, and um, I'll show you a trailer right here. I wanted to play Major League Baseball. I am a failed player. So in a sense, no matter what I ever do in life, I'm a failure, because that was my number one dream. I'm Zach Hampel, and I've snagged more baseballs in the stands at Major League Stadiums than anyone. Long drive. Okay, that's not the full trailer, that's just a little snippet. But anyway, my friend Jeff directed that. It's been about a good, uh, you know, seven, eight years documenting parts of this guy's life. And uh, I actually stumbled upon Zach on research for the show I'm currently working on right now. Um, yeah, that's a different, again, when I am given the green light from higher powers that be, meaning people who write a check, I'll let you know. Anyway, um, it's a pretty cool a documentary. It's a pretty, the guy's very, uh, Zach is very, uh, very social media friendly. Yeah, so anyway. Maybe he'll be a guest on the show sometime. Maybe we'll rip some packs together. He is a baseball card collector, or was, so I know that much. But uh, anyway, a link is below. It does come out. Um, I think it's on, he does have DVDs and Blu-rays out there, but it's also going to be on iTunes, Vudu, uh, Google, Amazon, all that fun stuff. It's going to be available. And it is going to, I believe, you have a theatrical run as well. Uh, the whole goal is to have it out before uh, opening day. Well, it is out before opening day. 
just, uh, yeah, the lockout kind of caused some issues. But anyway, there you go. Zach Hample vs. The World. And that is my friend Jeff's film uh, documentary uh, coming soon, like tomorrow. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to ripping some packs. Yeah, ripping some packs. Yeah. Uh, are you ready? Good. We are going to rip open a blaster box of Donruss basketball. 21, 22, 88 cards inside. And we are going to just show some goodness. It's going to be one of those rips. And by the way, on a side note, I got a lot of stuff I want to open, but my schedule is really busy. And honestly, if any of you knew how long it took me to edit these videos, it takes me about roughly about, a, you know, it's the, it's the length of the show. So let's say this episode's like a half hour. Okay, half hour long. Plus marrying of the three cameras, plus, you know, cutting uh, front, back, anything in between, doing any, any little tweaks. Cause it is, it is a, it's pretty, yeah, I don't, I don't edit unless it's like the camera dies and that's happened a couple times, but in, in general. Uh, so there's that, adding the music and the graphics and all that stuff. And I love doing that stuff for you. I really do. But I'm also getting behind and there's some packs I want to open. So I'm going to start doing maybe two or three days a week, a raw rips episode, which will just be like everybody else does. I know such a loser got me i know um i'm gonna be shooting with my iphone and we're gonna do a dual camera with an app i have called double take and we'll be doing dual camera rip where you see me still because that's just my you know my arrogant self and you'll see what i'm ripping and we'll probably just do like a bunch of it's stuff that i've already ripped before on the channel so it's definitely more of like i just need to get me some of these cards yeah we'll be doing that uh we i so anyway, oh, before I even think of opening this stupid thing, you know what you could do? Yeah, that, and that, and <laughs> notification bell. Of course, because you don't know when I'm gonna drop the next one. And a comment for you. A comment would be, did you watch the Oscars? Did you watch Will Smith go ass crazy onto Chris Rock? That was nuts, wasn't it? And if you didn't, just Google it, you'll see it. Um, did you watch the Oscars? And this kind of comes into play because with my buddy's documentary coming out, um, yeah, and I actually have another friend of mine who's got a documentary coming out in a couple months, but I'll deal with that when, it, when it's coming closer. But I'll just say it's about a very big man with feet. Yeah, for all those people who are believers out there. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, yeah, all that, leave a comment. Did you see that? Or are, what documentaries do you like? Or will you watch Zach Hempel vs. The World? My buddy Jeff would appreciate it. Yeah. Maybe you'll make 50 cents off of it. I don't know. Anyway, okay, here we go. 88 cards in here, 11 cards per uh, box, 8 cards per pack of Donruss Basketball. We're looking for the iconic rated rookies featuring the game's hottest young stars, meaning every rookie is a rated rookie. Uh, and I'm gonna put the little thing over here. That's I already put it down below. You already saw what I can pull out of here and what you can too when you find this. I did pick it up at Target.com for 25 bucks. It is at Walmart for $27.49. Haven't got fat packs yet. Um, if I can find them, I'll open them. Probably on the Raw Rips episodes. Anyway, are you ready? Good God damn, it's about time. Let's rip some packs. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, here we go. And get out of here, plastic. No, uh, who do you collect? It's just Panini. And, oh, cool. All right, we've got ourselves 11 packs of eight cards. Now, there might be mem in here. I don't think there is. I think Hoops has the mem, but we'll find out. And we'll find out together. I don't even know what to expect because I have the first time I, uh, I have opened, opened uh, Donruss at all on the channel this year of basketball. It's been about a couple weeks, I know, but I'm behind because, you know, I'm trying to get things off the ground. Yeah. You ready? Good. Pack number one of Donruss basketball, ribbon packs. Let's do this. Okay. First pack, all the camera, everything else, overhead. We got Luke Kennard of the Clippers. The uh, three-point shooting extraordinaire uh, for them, the Los Angeles Clippers. We got Keldon Johnson of the Spurs. Good old Keldon. He actually, he, is he good right now? Because I know he ended the year good. So I don't, you know I'm a fair weather NBA guy. I like my basketball. I just don't follow it as much as I should. DeAndre Ayton for the Suns wearing the Valley uh, jersey there. 
the uh, center for them. The Suns, are they, they're still hot, right? Clay Thompson, I know, I sound like a moron here. Uh, Clay Thompson for the Warriors, he's back and he's shooting the ball and doing what a basketball player does. Uh, interesting fact, uh, his dad is Michael Thompson, you probably already knew that, but Clay Thompson actually grew up about two, three miles away from my house when he was like a baby. Um, like, you know, three, four, five years old. I knew because I met Michael Thompson a handful of times when I was in high school and they lived right down the road. And then we got ourselves Evan Fournier for the Knicks, the former Celtic who is uh, rocking the Knicks outfit, but not in this one. Then we got Miles Bridges for the Hornets with the Buzz City, not like the Rip City. And our rookie, rated rookie, is going to be, uh, oh, it's a Kabongo, or no, it's not. <laughs> wow, I'm way off here. Moses Moody for the Warriors. Putting up his skills in the in the one-on-one uh, -on -one tournament with the uh, Panini photographer, and our insert is going to be a complete players with Zion. Complete players. Technically, our first hit of the pack, but the question is, is Zion going to be a hit? Because yeah, I know some of you probably saw his slam, uh, his uh, social media slam dunk that he did, but um, he looked good. He looked in shape, but it's like, dude, just. A little late. I mean, I don't think they're going to play him for the playoffs, but I don't know. Are they even in the playoff run? I actually don't know. I know that uh, CJ's done well for them since they since the Blazers traded him, but yeah, I don't know. I you know you we all as a hobby want to see uh, Zion do well because there's a lot of people vested in him. All right, here we go. Pack number two of Donruss basketball ripping packs. Let's go. All right, we got a red or a red or orange laser here. We got a uh, Jay Sean Tate, uh, not a rookie because last year was a rookie. Giannis going into the hits. I'll show you Giannis real quick. That is what he looks like in the Donruss card. Giannis. Uh, Devin Booker, technically another hit. Good old number one there for Phoenix. And he went off the other day, didn't he? I think he did. Either I don't know, went off on a fan. I don't know. Uh, Derek Rose for the Knicks. Davis Bertrand. My box is now complete. I got a Davis Bertrand's card. Um, Rich Rashawn Holmes for the Kings. Uh, we did not get a rookie. We got a Jalen Brunson, but we did get a orange uh, base of orange laser base of is that Paul George. Paul George for the clip show. Paul George. Going into the insert parallels, but more than likely, going to my good buddy Payman, who's a big clipper honk. I like the clippers. He loves them. Paul George, going into the inserts and parallels, our first orange parallel. No rookies in there. But evidently we're going to get uh, eight of them. Unwrap. Now it just says unwrap. Pack number three of Donner's basketball ripping packs. I should show you the back of the cards, by the way. I didn't. They're, they're the exact same, but Doug McDermott for the Spurs, TJ Ward for the Pacers, Kyle Anderson for the Grizzlies. We did get it, Alexi Pukaszewski. I do throw second years in the hits just because that's the clan I am. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. for the Nuggets. We got a Kit Zap for Zingas for the Mavericks. We did get a rookie card here. Uh, rated rookie. Oh. Uh, Davion Mitchell for the Kings. There's Davion right there. He uh, is actually uh, one of the solid, he's a solid defensive rookie. That's his big uh, big ticket thing. But the thing is, uh, defensive rookies don't do anything in the hobby. Yeah, so going into the rookie pile, uh, which is right here, which I put Pukachevsky over for some reason. And our orange laser is going to be a base, another orange laser. Is that a, uh, hell, does it? Yeah, Duncan Robinson. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have been at all near that. But Duncan Robinson for the Heat is our orange laser. And this is what the back of the card looks like, by the way, if you cared. Orange laser, Duncan Robinson going into the inserts and parallels, hanging out with Paul George. Pack number four of Donruss basketball ripping packs. Let's open this pack right now. Yeah. All right, Dennis Schroeder, former Laker. Well, it says so on the jersey with the Clipper now the Celtics. And he, I know he was trade made before the deadline. Uh, C.D. Osman for the Cavaliers. Killian Hayes. Mm, yeah, throw him the hits just because he's a second year rookie. And come on, he could do something. 
Uh, Devin Vassell, he's technically second year rookie too. Russell Westbrook, well, skew. Brandon Ingram, he's solid, going into the hits. Uh, PJ Tucker for the Heat, and we got another orange laser here. Rated rookie, orange laser of uh, some dude for the Wizards. Corey Kisper, okay, I do, I've heard of Corey Kisper. I just am not, he's not on the top of my head, but for the Wizards, is he a Gonzaga kid? Uh, yeah, Gonzaga. He went to uh, Washington, born in Washington. So yeah, that's that's kind of where, but yeah, they, the Washington Wizards like their uh, Gonzaga players. Rui Hachimura is a, a Gonzaga kid too. So yeah, so there we go. We got a rookie at least, so I could be happy about that. I can smile and look, my, look myself in the mirror and be prideful on the uh, cards I just pulled. Pack number five of uh, Donner's Basketball 21-22. Let's go. Okay, Carmelo with the, uh, it's, it's not a blazer hit because he's wearing his, he's wearing the Oregon uh, City jersey, if you will, but he plays for the Lakers now. Going into that pile. Josh Jackson for the Pistons. Kyle Lowry for, he's with the Heat now. I didn't know that. He's with the Heat. Thought he was still with Toronto. Uh, Desmond Bain, I love Desmond Bain. He's got great game. I'll just show it to you real quick. I think he's a solid player. Definitely gets overshadowed by Jaw, but I mean, the guy is just a, uh, yeah, he's a great, great compliment to him. Uh, Peyton Pritchard, another second-year rookie, going into the hip hop just because it's a second year. Jason Tatum, a true hit, and then we did get another rated rookie here of, is that Boston? Yep, Brandon Boston Jr., otherwise known as BJ Boston for the Clippers. Going into the rookie pile, and then we did get a Magicians with Zion. That's actually a great shot. Uh, just hanging out over you know, over the backboard. Kind of like a nice little, it's like a drone shot if you look at it. But that's a nice little hit right there. I mean, I want Zion, and I know all you guys do, you want Zion to be a hit because it's good for the NBA. You need a big man. Um, yeah, you just do. I don't know. We got six packs left here. Six packs. Pack number six. Let's go. Now. Okay. All all right, John Wall for the Rockets, Chris Middleton for the Bucks, John T. Murray for the Spurs, Kendrick Nunn for the Lakers, and I think the Blazers just signed him to a 10-day contract. Uh, P.J. Washington for the Hornets, Jay Crowder for the Suns, Trey Young, there's a hit technically, for the Hawks. Yes, it's a base card, but I don't care. And an orange laser of Spencer Dinwiddie. We're in Brooklyn, says the Wizards, but now he's with the Mavericks. And that's actually going to my PC pile. The reason why is I actually interviewed and shot high school footage of him at Taft. Good dude. I'll see if I can uh, pull up a clip and th uh, show you something quick of him. But... Dinwiddie for three. Dinwiddie for three. Still on the plate. With the I'm probably the cutest basketball player in the country. <laughs> yeah, I like Spencer. He's a good dude. And he's just been going from team to team to team. But it's nice to see that the Dallas Mavericks actually use him. That's a PC hit for me, so screw it. All right, we're down to our last five packs. And we're, it's, uh, I'm out. Let me ask with you. Yeah. Pack number six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. No, seven. Pack seven. Okay, James Wiseman going into the P, the hit pile just because second year. But honestly, we want James Wiseman to do something. We all do. Like Zion. He played like maybe 20 games, then injuries. The dude's like 20 years old, so he still has a great future. James Wiseman. Okay. Anthony Davis. Technically a hit, but not the way he's playing right now. Reggie Bullock for the Mavericks. Got ourselves Gary Trent Jr., former Blazer. He's done well for the Raptors. Cameron Johnson for the Suns. Nikola Jokic, the Joker, for the Nuggets. The big man MVP who's still in the running, but uh, looks like uh, Joel Embiid's going to take it. We got ourselves a rookie here. Of a right a rookie. Of a Cavaliers. That's not Mobley, is it? It's Mobley? Nice. Okay, Evan Mobley. Base card, but Mobley is definitely probably the front runner for the rookie of the year. Cade Cunningham has come on strong lately, but uh, Mobley's just on solid. He's on solid. 
So that's our, we got a base rookie Mobley, which is cool. Then we did get a base card, another base orange of Kobe White. Kobe White. Uh, heads up, if you guys are Kobe White fans, head yourself over to Burbank Sports Cards out in Burbank, California. Um, if you would like to get really cheap graded cards because everybody graded their Kobe White rookies. That's right. Um, they got a crap ton. Like, seriously, their entire, they have like 10 uh, d double shoes of uh, graded slabs um, in Kobe White's ring, all of them. It's crazy. All right, we got four packs left. Shred this bad boy. We got Dania, Daniel Ganyari. Whatever. Uh, Wendell Carter for the Magic. Norman Powell, our first PC hit, but he's not with the Blazers anymore. He's now with the Clippers. But either way, I'll show it to you because I gotta show you a PC card for God's sake. I'm wearing the damn Rift City hat. And we got Jaron Jackson for the Grizzlies. He's solid. Tyrese Halliburton. I like Tyrese and it looks like his game. He's been doing. He's been doing okay with the Pacers. I expect him to do a little bit better, but he's he's. He's still getting acclimated to Indiana, but I like Tyrese. He's definitely a guy with my eye on. Joel Embiid, the uh, probable MVP, as I spoke about earlier, going into the hits for the Sixers, and another base of Tristan Thompson, who I can't stand. And then we did get an insert here of the primetime or something like that. Franchise features Giannis for the Bucks. The primetime features. There's Giannis going into the hit pile. And if you do care what the franchise features look like on the back, there is the story and there is the image that's on the front with Giannis. Hit pile. Three packs left. Pack number nine. Six packs. I'm opening it right now. Yeah, right now. Right frigging now. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. I'm not even what I'm looking for. Cole Anthony. I think he's a hit. I really do like Cole Anthony. He's just got that charisma. He's got floor presence, and the guy's just fun to watch. And uh, Malcolm Brogdon for the Pacers. Fasundo Campuso for the Nuggets. I didn't even know he was a rookie until I started getting with cards from uh, late last season. Steph Curry for the Warriors. That's a definite base hit, if you will. But Steph Curry, the uh, one of the greats. Andrew Wiggins having a good year. I wasn't expecting that. R.J. Barrett, is he a hit? Because I have a bunch of his rookies, like most of you probably do. Um, is he a hit, though? Because I know last year was his second year. Uh, we have Bones Highland. I keep on hearing stories about this guy. He, like, he fell late in the draft, but he was like would have been a lottery pick. But yeah, I guess he's pretty solid. So Bones Highland. Then we did get a great expectations of Jalen Green for the Rockets, the number two overall pick out of... What was it like some I am not some academy or something like that? He he went from high school, played one year in some uh, like a G League. I think it was the G League, yeah. And yeah, he's done okay. He's been scoring, but that's what he should have been doing. He was he hasn't been doing much. It looks like at least on the stats. I haven't watched a lot of Houston games. We are down to our last two packs. Pack number ten, not the league, the old league. Just a pack of basketball cards. Yeah, pack ten. Let's go. So as you're seeing, it's just a bunch of base and a parallel. Yeah. Hmm. Gordon Haywood for the Hornets. Terrence Mann for the Clippers. Tyler Hero for the Heat. Is he? Is he? I'll show it to you real quick. But is he a hit too? Because I know he's been hit and miss, and I know like in Miami he's a, he's a hit, but in Los Angeles I don't know. Uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich for the Hawks. Kenyon Martin Jr. for the Rockets. Draymond Green for the Warriors. Jordan Poole, who is, he's, he's done well until Clay got some playing time because somebody had to play that position. Uh, then we got another, uh, a base, uh, orange parallel of uh, Theo Beladen, second year card. Yeah, don't really track the thunder, but that is the Theo or Theo Beladen for Oklahoma City, uh, second year guy. So we got orange lasers, no purple lasers. All right, our last pack, pack number 11. And what are you guys thinking? I don't know what to think, honestly. Let's go, last pack. Mojo, let down, we'll find out. Another parallel, but hey. 
Uh, Kevin Love, former Oregon, former Lake, uh, Lake Oswego High School resident. Uh, yeah, I shot video. Jordan Clarkson for the Jazz. RJ Hampton for the Magic. We have another, we have Boban Marjanovic for the Mavericks. He's just a fun dude. Andre Drummond. <laughs> Is he with the he's is he with the Nets now? I don't know what the deal is here. I'll just show it to you. He's wearing the Lakers gear. It says 76ers. He was originally a Piston, a Cavalier. I, he's been on like 28 teams. I think he's played for every team in the league. No, he hasn't. I shot a video of him in high school as well at a Adidas uh, Nations tournament thing. Uh, Ricky Rubio for the Cavaliers. Our rated rookie. Our rated rookie. Our last rated rookie probably is going to be for the Hornets. Well, it ain't. Is it Trey or Tay or whoever? Uh, JT Thor. Nowhere near who I was thinking. JT Thor. Yeah. Just like the Greek god. Not the Greek god, but the uh, ooh, Norse god. JT Thor. Rookie pile. And our last orange parallel. I showed it briefly on my screw up. It is. Oh, it's uh, the Bosnian beast. Joseph Nurchik. Nurk. Going into the PC pile. Lisa uh, got an orange parallel for our I mean the Blazers were not represented at all in this rip we got two guys um so there there is Donner's basketball for you um I don't know I got a couple more blasters I picked it up obviously at the target drop um here's the thing if you're a diehard basketball fan I'd say sure cool I, I like it I don't know what to tell you though I think I had more fun with it last year, but who knows? I know oh, the price went up this year. It's five bucks more for the same car, same amount of cards. Um, honestly, um, our rookies, you know, you got just got JT Thor, the Jalen Green, great expectations, I'd say, was a nice little hit, even though it's just an insert rookie. Bones Highland, I've heard great things about. Evan Mobley, okay, that's our base hit, uh, if you will. I'll, I'll, I like him. BJ Boston, uh, Corey Kispert for uh, the Wizards. Again, I mean, it's a parallel rookie card. You can't go wrong there. Davian Mitchell, first rounder for Sacramento. And the guy, like I said, the guy's a solid defender, but defense doesn't mean anything in the hobby. And Moses Moody. Uh, so our rookies were, we, we got a Mobley. And so there's that. And we did get an orange parallel. Did get a couple Zions here. Didn't get uh, Curry, Cole, Giannis. Halliburton. I mean, again, I'm very, very easy with my hits, as you all know. James Wiseman, Trey Young, another Zion, uh, ah, Desmond Ingram. Yeah, I'm very loose with the hits. So, I mean, it was it was all right. I mean, I'm not gonna. It's basketball, and we all know anybody who watches my channel. Basketball is one thing. I'm kind of like, hey, I like it. I don't know it as well as I do the others, but hey, it is what it is. So, yeah. So there you go. Ripping packs on Monday and probably this week. Um, maybe on Wednesday, if, if I got the time, I will try to do a uh, mystery rip, a what the F episode, and um, open up some mystery packs. Because my buddy did give me you know, one of those baseball mystery boxes at Walgreens, which is probably gonna be the same thing as you're gonna see everywhere, but it truly is what the F. You don't know what you're getting inside. We might get some awesome cards. More than likely, we're getting hot garbage. So that and a couple of things, but I'll see if I do a Wednesday episode. Again, I've got a lot of things still. I'm dealing, it's a back and forth ride with uh, um, the certain entity I'm dealing with. And um, yeah, budgets, uh, communication, uh, sponsorship money, all that fun stuff. It's something that, uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully. That's all I'm gonna say, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. So anyways, thank you so much for watching Ripping Packs. Uh, that subscribe button, you know what? Yeah. The like button, you know what? <laughs> Notification bell, you know what to do because you don't know when these things are dropping right now. Well, if they do drop, they're at 1 o'clock. And if they do drop, they're on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But last month and a half, it's been like once a week. I know. Crazy job worky stuff. Yeah. And again, leave a comment. Documentary. Or if you saw Will Smith kick the crap out of Chris Rock. Well, didn't kick the crap out of him. It was just like an open-handed uh, pimp slap. You know, if you saw that. But yeah, let me know. Um, and definitely check out my boy James and his company, Hood, hoodhat.com. Again, I'll post it below in the description stuff. And my buddy Jeff's film, uh, Zach Hampel vs. The World. Check them both. Check them both out. Let me know what you think. Or just let yourself know what you think. Because that's always the best thing. 
let yourself go, hmm, I like that, or yeah, it's not for me. I don't know, but either way, thank you again for watching Rippin' Packs. Come back, maybe Wednesday, maybe, we'll see. Uh, and again, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to maybe start doing this week the raw rips episodes where it'll be. I'll put it on. It'll be still coming through here, but it'll be a just a standalone uh, standalone episodes of raw rips, ripping packs, raw rips. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll. Come, I think that would just be. Yeah, I don't know. I'll come up with something better. But right now, it's gonna be called ripping packs colon raw rips. Yeah. Anyway, thank you again. Have yourself a great Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, and always rip some packs. I'll see you around. <laughs>